Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Antina's Kitchen, where today I'm inviting you over to make something so delicious, so elegant, and you know, true to its name. It's a French raspberry pastry dish, and I know the ingredients look a little overwhelming, but I do want to show you how simple it is. It does take a little bit of precision work, it does take a little bit of time and you know effort, but it's so rewarding at the end. So in getting into the ingredients that you're gonna need for this raspberry fruit tart is you know two elements. We're gonna do a cookie crust and also a French pastry cream, which is so delicious. It has that custardy consistency, really thick and creamy, but not heavy. So it's it just it's perfect. In getting into the tools you're gonna need, you're gonna need the rolling pin because we're gonna have to you know need that dough. You're gonna need a dish for your uh, shell. You need a sifter or a sieve because we are going to use some confection sugar to top off for a decorative element for the raspberries. You're gonna need a whisk because we are whisking in the eggs. And that's about it. So without further ado, please join me as I make a beautiful French raspberry tart for the first time. Okay, now we have prepped our ingredients for the crust. So you're gonna need your electric mixer or your hand mixer, because we are gonna make that cookie dough now. We're gonna start off with um, our sugar, which is one third cup. We have uh, one third butter. We have uh, one cup and three fourths flour and half a teaspoon of sugar. I've already mixed it in. And you're gonna need one whole egg and an egg yolk, as well as your flavoring, your almond extract and your vanilla extract. So let's get this going. So we have our dough. What we're gonna do is sprinkle a little bit of flour onto a surface because we're gonna knead this dough and wrap it in a little bit of saran wrap and place it in the freezer for about 10 minutes so it becomes workable. If you're making it the same day that is. But if you're not, you can just leave it in the fridge for as long as you need within you know the next five days or if you still wanna use it today, 30 minutes in the fridge, 10 minutes in the freezer. So let's get started. I'm gonna grab a little bit of flour for our surface so we can knead this dough. And we're just gonna plop it here. It should be really workable, really soft. And we're just gonna um, knead it into a cylinder shape. And it smells so good. You can smell that almond extract, that vanilla, it's gonna be great. And of course that butter. So I will pop it into the fridge because we wanna make our pastry cream now and that should take about 10 minutes. I'll meet you back. Okay, I just wanted to make sure we set aside the ingredients we're gonna need for that pastry cream, that French pastry cream. You're gonna need uh, your sugar, your cornstarch, your butter, your four egg yolks, your milk, and some salt. Now, before I head over to the stove, I do wanna show you, because this is a different method. Usually, the milk and the eggs are tempered, meaning the milk, is in its 
you know hot boiling state and then you add the egg yolks but in this method which i found worked great because i didn't have that clumpy custard um we're gonna add the yolks in the cold milk and then give it a whisk and set it aside and have it ready for when we bring all of this to the stove so we can prepare this amazing cream All right, so I have popped that uh, semi-frozen dough. It's been in the freezer for 10 minutes. I am prepping my surface. We are going to use a rolling pin and flatten this out and set it in our baking dish. Okay, so you're just gonna roll your dough on top of your rolling pin because this is gonna be an easy method for you to get your dough onto the dish. But before I do that, I do wanna spray my dish because it is something that I'm gonna have to flip out as opposed to just easily popping out had I had the right dish, but um, I think we'll be okay. I just don't want anything to stick. Just rub it. Okay, perfect. And we're just going to simply plop it, um, easier said than done, but <laughs> simply plop it into the dish. And then that's when the precision work comes in, where we're going to have to just knead it in with our fingers, make sure we get that shape of the edges correctly. What I'm doing now is I'm folding in the crust. I'm just gonna remove these for that double crust, um, which is gonna have that thicker edge. You do want your crust to be durable to sustain the cream and the fruit. When you put it in the fridge, you don't want it to get soggy, so this will help with that. I told you that took a lot of precision 
takes a lot of effort but well worth it at the end because we'll get this really pretty crust so what I've done also is cut out the the tops just to make it more even and then rounding them and softening them up as I go and now in order for this to not rise which is not the goal we want it to remain flat we're gonna have to poke little holes with a fork grab a fork just poke through so we keep it from rising you can also put a you know high weight but this should work and won't let the dough rise okay so that's how it would look I'm gonna pop this into the oven at 375 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes and then we're gonna pop it out flip it and begin to assemble our amazing French pastry cream which I have put in the fridge to cool down and um, we'll take it from there like our tart is ready we're gonna pop it out of the oven and you're gonna wish me luck because I'm going to flip it and then flip it back let's see oh it looks so cute all right so it didn't rise that's what we wanted okay so I'm thinking I will flip it onto a large dish and then flip it back onto a cute little stand so we can have it ready when we decorate it. Here it goes. It worked, you guys. <laughs> okay, now for this part, I don't want to put too much pressure on it. Let's do it halfway. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, perfect. Now we can begin assembling this really cute tart. All right, so I'll begin with my cream. So I had popped this into the fridge. It's nice and cool and there's no film. So because we covered it with that saran wrap and I'm just gonna plop it onto here and then we'll smooth it out with a spatula. my friends now that we have assembled the cream it's time to top it off with these amazing raspberries now you can go in and place them neatly you know very organized but I did want to capture this really organized chaos type of vibe for this so I'm just gonna place them sporadically and then work my way in no sort of organized fashion however if you'd like to keep it more structured you definitely can. That would look pretty as well. We've assembled our raspberries. Now it's time to top it off with a little bit of decoration with the confe confectioner sugar. And we're just gonna sift a little bit on top and there we have it our cute little French pastry I'm gonna cut into this and let you guys know how it tastes all right everybody here is the taste test it looks so good mmm it's so good. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for tuning in.